1957, Elvis had opened the floodgates. Rock and roll now dominates the pop charts that used to belong to our parents. And by now, it seemed like every other kid I talked to, including myself, owned a guitar. Still, lacrosse had no actual rock and roll band. But there were two older teens who already had stage experience. They were determined to get something going. Jack Robick and Tom Terry were juniors at Aquinas High School. They were able to pick up Bill Weigel on drums and Dwayne Schrader on rhythm guitar. They called themselves the TJs. Anxious to get started, they immediately set up an audition with Lindy Shannon. Lindy was impressed. So the TJs would spend the rest of the year making live appearances at all the Lindy record hops. But Lindy wouldn't stop there. He was determined to record this group. Nineteen fifty eight. After sifting through dozens of promo records, the TJs found one they could rearrange, and they called it Party Party. The flip side was written by Tom Terry called Take My Love. The closest recording studio at that time was K Bank in Minneapolis. Lindy wasted no time in setting up a recording date. $500 for 500 records. Lindy put up half and the TJs came up with the other half. At first, it was believed that the TJs had put out the first rock and roll record in the state of Wisconsin, but later to find out that a group from Appleton called the Whitecaps put out rock and roll saddles a couple of weeks earlier. Party Party was printed on the Lindy label. It was released for sale on a Saturday afternoon with a Pepsi party at Lightholds, along with a TJ's autograph session. It was complete chaos. You couldn't even get in the store. Needless to say, they sold all 500 records that day. Party Party was the number one song in the Cooley region. The TJs became instant rock and roll stars in La Crosse and the surrounding area. The TJs wasted no time putting out their next recording. Live It Up was written by Jack Robick and the TJs. And the flip side was I Got a Baby, another two-sided hit. And shortly after that, Dwayne Schrader wrote Baby Doll and Broken Hearted Prayer. From late 1956 through 1959, the TJs pretty much owned lacrosse as the first rock and roll band in our area. They were not only idolized, but they were an inspiration for all the young musicians who followed. And deservingly enough, many years later, they were inducted into the Rockabilly Hall of Fame. <laughs> 